Hi, so we just saw the Tech Theater explosion uh, start your day with a bang with Dr. Johannes. Dr. Johannes, can you please uh, give us a behind the scenes look at uh, the product you had on display? Yes, absolutely, Marco. Marco, what we introduced on the um, live explosion uh, demonstration was the so-called Cure flameless venting technology. We used the Cure flameless venting technology in order to protect indoor equipment, uh, they, which could be spray dryer, which could be a cyclone, or which could be all other installations that are handling combustible dust and are therefore at risk. So the typical approach to protect these installations is to use either an explosion relief device, a suppression can, or to build the entire installation pressure shock resistant. But most of these installations um, can easily be protected by the so-called flameless venting technology, which allows the sufficient venting, but which um, prevents flames from escaping and endangering people in the vicinity. Yeah, and I did see the flame. It, it shot up at least 10 feet high. So it was a, at the tech theater today. Yeah. So uh, it certainly does a good job of, again, retaining that combustible uh, uh, explosion. Yeah. Um, can you uh, tell us a little bit more about the technology and the importance, and where is it being used right now? Yes, I can do so. Well, the Cura, um, simply spoken, consists of a rupture disc, which is um, just opening as a certain set pressure inside the installation is reached. And what then happens is that the Cura itself, that consists of multiple layers of stainless steel mesh, um, acts as, a, in some way, a heat exchanger and arrests the heat and the combustion temperature of the flames. So that's basically how the Cura technology works. And um, we have right now been approved for all kind of dusts, such as melting dusts, fibrous dust, metallic dust, gases and even hybrid mixtures, which are um, mixtures to be considered in applications where you have gas as well as um, dust explosive atmospheres. So Johannes, if, uh, if a company is interested in this type of a product, how can they go about it? Well, it is not that easy to build it, as you can imagine. The Cura technology was invented in the 80s by the founder of the company, Rembi, Mr. Bernhard Penno, in collaboration with Dr. Alfred. And what we did is that we um, improved the technology over the years. So um, in order to be allowed um, selling this to the market, we have to always keep certain regulations and directives. Um, for the US market, it is very important to mention that the Cura flameless venting technology is approved by FM, which is um, right now um, standardized in the FM standard 7730. Um, in the European market, as well as in other markets, we have to follow the so-called EN 16009 standard flameless venting devices. And there they absolutely distinguish between the different behavior uh, for the um, different type of uh, combustible dust, such as metal dust, fibrous dust, and um, melting dust. How did the show go for you today um, and throughout the week uh, here at PBS? Yeah, the show went absolutely well. We have been a great attendance to the booth. A lot of people stopped by. Our booths have been visited uh, frequently. We are absolutely happy about the outcome. And um, I don't think that this is something that um, people might tell you often. I was happy about um, the presence of our competition as well because uh, it shows that this um, uh, explosion safety field is an absolutely important field and an absolutely important sector for this kind of um, applications that are mostly shown here on the presentation on the um, on the show. I'm glad you're saying that and again it's friendly competition but nevertheless it shows the importance of again the technology that's needed. Absolutely, absolutely. So we appreciate the competition to be here and um, yeah we don't fear the competition that's why I re I'm really honestly telling you that I was absolutely happy to see that we have not been the only one presenting uh, explosion safety technologies. Now, you said uh, do you have a couple of leads, uh, customers. Uh, uh, how is that uh, so far unfolded? Well, it will be like that without telling too much that I will um, elongate my stay even here in Chicago and uh, visit, um, starting from tomorrow, a lot of leads here in this area. So the outcome of the show was really absolutely perfect and I have to thank uh, the UBM Ken team for the perfect organization of it. Thank you again, Dr. Johannes. Thanks, Marco. See you next time.